let's now take a tour of the Ionic framework and then examine several of the components that Ionic provides in order to design our mobile application. We'll look at the CSS components in a bit more detail next. Ionic provides a number of CSS classes that enable you to design various UI components that you can use to design your mobile application. So uh, if you are familiar with the Bootstrap's approach, you already know how Bootstrap provides various CSS classes that you can use to style the HTML elements in order to create various UI elements within your application. It's the similar approach that Ionic also takes. So Ionic provides a number of CSS classes that you can apply to HTML elements in order to create user interface widgets that are suitable for mobile screens. So these CSS classes can be applied to many different HTML elements. For example, we'll see the, uh, the CSS classes being applied to uh, divs, uh, ULs, then list uh, items, and other HTML elements. Now, the Ionix CSS classes can be used independent of Ionix directives. As we realized earlier, Ionic extends AngularJS by de defining its own custom Angular directives. You can make use of just the CSS classes that Ionic provides to design your mobile application. Of course, you are losing the power that AngularJS brings for designing your mobile application, but that is still possible. So let's look at some of the CSS classes and see how we can make use of them within our application. Uh, of course, we will examine a few of them in this um, lecture and see how we make use of them. But as we go through the course, we will be invoking various other CSS classes as and when they are appropriate in designing our UI elements. Ionic, as you realized, uses SAS to define the CSS classes, which also means that you have access to the SAS um, code. You can modify the SAS code and then recompile Ionic to turn it into whatever is more appropriate. So if you don't like the default colors, if you don't like the default themes, you can easily um, customize the Ionic CSS classes to your requirements, provided you understand how Ionic defines the SAS classes and you know exactly what you're doing. At the beginning, I would suggest not to indulge in that, but once you get comfortable with the Ionic framework, by all means, explore the ways of customizing the CSS classes to your own needs. One Ionic CSS class that I use extensively in the uh, exercises that we do in this course is the Ionic card class. The card class enables you to design a very nice user interface uh, element which displays content in the form of a card, including a header and the content. As you see from this example, you see me applying the card class to a div. Now inside this card class, I can include additional divs. For each one of them, I give them the item class. Now the header that you see here being displayed in the card is created using the item divider class. So you see that the first div element inside the card div uses the item item divider class. And in there, I have made use of the uh, item uh, divider class in order to display the uh, header for this card. A very nice way of creating um, uh, a leading header for your card. The next div that you see me defining there uses the item, item thumbnail left class. So with the item thumbnail left class, if I include an image into this div, that image will be displayed on the left side as a thumbnail, as you see in the result uh, on the right side of this 
um, screen. So the item item thumbnail left and the other class that I'm applying is item text wrap. The text wrap class when you apply will wrap the text around so that the entire text is displayed on the screen. If you don't use the item text wrap, then only one line of the content will be displayed in the screen. Uh, we will see the use uh, of the item item thumbnail left without the item text wrap in one of the later exercises. Now, inside the div, you can see that I am using an H2 and a P, just like the way I used it with the media object for um, the standard Angular um, templates that we designed earlier. So in this case, the card class makes it very uh, effective to design a nice user interface element to display the information or the content on our um, web page. Now, this card class probably is inspired by the way Android provides the card class in the material design approach that they introduced with, uh, with the Android 5.2. So the card class was a, a UI widget that was introduced with uh, Android. So this is has a lot of similarities to that Android card widget. With this, we will move on to our next exercise where we will set up the controllers and services for our Ionic application. So we have already uh, turned the scaffolded application into something more closer to the Confusion app that we want to design. Now we are going to uh, port the controllers and the services that we designed in the Angular application in the previous course. We are going to simply um, transfer over the code of the services and the controllers and then slightly reconfigure it and then use it within our Ionic application. Also, we will start designing templates for our Ionic single page application to uh, start designing our um, mobile app.